Well, by now we've all seen the house floats, the beautiful displays transformed Mardi Gras this year, bringing carnival to every neighborhood in the city. Yeah, Derek, photojournalist Derek Waldrop caught up with one float painter who's pivoting his whole business, betting that the house floats are here to stay. Can't keep doing the same thing and expect to have new outcome. <laughs> when COVID struck and they were thinking about laying everybody off because of the cancellation of parades, we were just trying to rethink what could we do other than floats to make a decent living. We saw a website called Crew of House Floats. Light bulb went off, that's what we're doing. That's our ticket out, the porch floats, because I immediately thought of this. <laughs> Sink or swim, that's the name of the game. It feels like you can actually ride on it. It doesn't move, but you can get on and throw beads to the public at large, and that's what makes it fun. See that bright yellow brings that out? I used to go sit down in the summertime at Rex and watch them fellas paint, just like that, see? They would teach me little tricks, happy little loops. And I'd have my little drawing pad, and I'd sit there and just watch. Just like a kid in school. Let's get this little turquoise in here. I've been loving this since a kid. We joined the crew of housefloats.com and had no idea that many people were going to navigate through that to find us. It's like a little cougar. And they did. And once they did, they put it on blast. It, it got pretty big pretty fast. It went viral lightning quick. This really has catapulted us into full-time business. I mean, we are full throttle now. We're in the business of making people happy. You want to keep everyone at large as normal as possible. And so to do that, you take whatever you can creatively and make that same magic of Mardi Gras uh, stay still for a minute. And so the porch float, I thought, almost kind of like Christmas in the Oaks, but this would be Mardi Gras in the city. And this is here to stay. I don't think that's going anywhere because for some reason this city loves to decorate. And Mardi Gras is such an integral part of our fabric. People are gonna want it. We'll be busy for the rest of our lives. All the creativity and resilience of New Orleanians blows me away. Rene Pierre got so busy on his house floats this year that he had to stop taking orders. He's already starting to take orders for next year, though.